man. Welcome to the Saints facility in Metairie. The Saints have just wrapped up practice number eight on this Friday afternoon. A couple of quick notes. First of all, Drew Brees did not throw at practice today. It was the first question we asked Sean Payton after practice. He said it was a normal, scheduled Veterans Day off. Mark Ingram, John Kuhn also not participating. Sean Payton taking it easy on some of his veterans. But without number nine on the field, it completely changes the balance of power in any kind of a team drill, whether it's a seven-on-seven seven or a full team drill. We'll Get back to that in a minute. A couple other notes. Ted Ginn, the number of drop passes is definitely concerning. Drops have always been a problem for Ginn in his career. He had a couple today. It seems like he's had at least one or two in every practice. That is definitely something to watch out of him. Uh, how much Sean Payton in the offense will put up with that, we'll see. But Ted Ginn, the drops continue to be a problem. And one rookie free agent to watch in uh, when the Saints get to preseason games is number 70, defensive end Mitchell Lowen. He's from Arkansas. He has been terrific. Nick Underhill on Sunday said he was a guy that Nick had already put an asterisk by. Nick, of course, a terrific writer for our partners at The Advocate. Lowen had two plays today that we marked as potential sacks. He's been all over the place. He's a guy to watch that maybe uh, of the free agent batch, a guy with a chance to stick. Now, the big highlight today was the seven-on-seven -seven drill. Saints defensive backs coach Aaron Glenn and Saints wide receiver coach Curtis Johnson have sort of been chirping back and forth throughout training camp at different practices today that came to a huge head in a seven on seven end zone drill where Curtis Johnson was getting super excited and then Aaron Glenn was responding in a big way urging his players on incompletions he was urging his DBs Damian Swan did it three plays in a row to run pick up the ball and spike it on incompletions to show the wide receivers that fired up the other side to the point where there was an incompletion on a pass to Brandon Coleman. Two different people tried spiking the ball, and Brandon Coleman ran to them to physically stop them from doing that. It was fiery and fun. Both sides said the competition is great. Obviously, when they get in the locker room, it all gets forgotten. But it made for a fun seven-on-seven -seven drill. That was the highlight today. The Saints back on the field on Saturday, and then the practice at Tulane on Sunday. For now, reporting live at the Saints facility, Doug Mouton on Facebook Live.